Hey everybody, how you doing today? So I just wanted to show you what happened to me today. I was driving and yeah, all of a sudden this back support started like just, it just fall back like that. So it scared me while I was driving. And what happened is that the knob right here that goes here to like adjust the seat that thing broke so as you can see this part right here this is the bolt that goes in there so it broke the other part is stuck in there and now we have to get it out so i went and look at if i could buy the just the bolt uh, I guess it comes as a set, as a kit. It comes with uh, this part, the lid, the bolt, and this washer that's kind of bent. So I guess it keeps it from um, from tightening it. So I went and bought it out there from the dealer. Picked it up. Here's the new one. And here's the new bolt. So that's what it comes from the kit. So the problem that I had is that it broke from here. Okay, so if you can see, comparison, it, it, it's just the tip. It broke from, from right there. And that piece, it's stuck. And I thought about taking this knot off, but guess what? It's weld. Is welded into the uh, frame of the seat so you can get this knot out okay so what I did I went to Harbor Freight and bought this kit comes with I got this one right here this is the drill bit and this is like the left hand drill bit so it it's not like the other ones that they go to the right, this go to the left. So I just use the drill bit right here to drill the hole into that uh, piece that it's stuck in there. So the, I already made the hole. So now I'm gonna use this, this one too, uh, to try to get that, uh, the piece out so i gotta use both of my hands but i'll show you once i get it out if i do okay this is a test i never done it i i i heard that it works so we'll see what happened so i was using this one which is the same size as the drill bit that i used okay but it was kind of hard for it to like go in and I said, let me use the, 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 the size before that. And look, so with that one, the smaller one, I stuck it in there. And with this one, I grabbed it and started like turning, turning, and it didn't seem like it was doing anything, but it, all of a sudden it came out. So now we have that thing out of here. So now we can get, go ahead and, and put the new one. And it looks like there's no damage to, it looks like there's no damage to the, to the hole. I'm gonna put the new one in. So the way it goes is, okay, so this, this part right here, this is gonna go into like right here, this channel, okay? And then you're gonna put your knot right here and you're gonna tighten it. You're gonna go and tighten it. And you're supposed to tighten it like between seven and 13 pounds. So <clears throat> let me do that and I'll get back with you. Okay, so we got it in there and we're gonna be using a 22 millimeter socket to, to get it tight. Okay, so 
it, it's okay so it's right there now let me get it torqued okay so it said between 7 and 13 pounds uh, I'm gonna put it I don't know if you can see right at 10 pounds and we're gonna torque it at 10 pounds that's good enough if it is too tight we gotta loosen it up and if it is too loose we gotta tighten it up a little bit that's what the instruction says okay it's tightening it up it's I think we're almost there okay I don't know if you can hear it that's 10 foot pounds right there so now we're gonna see it's a little bit tight but not too much as you see it's working now the seat is not going back and forward anymore and it's working properly so that's how we fix this one and this one of the dealer the freightliner dealer in houston cost me it was 14 dollars plus tax came out to be like 16 dollars and change the whole kit okay so it's good and ready to go now we're just gonna put this this lid back on there yeah like this and that one you just press it in all right that's it for this one and i did not know how to get that out even though i i do a lot of things uh i was going back and forward my wife is like why don't you just get a drill and get it out and i'm like hey that sounds like a good idea never thought about that but just drill was not gonna do it so i did have to buy this kit uh, this one, which is called the uh, Trumpet Punch. Uh, this, my tools were more expensive than the part that I bought. This one was to poke a hole in the metal so my drill bit would not be running around. So this one was about $12 and this one was about $12. So good tools to have. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.